I always used to love going to my grandma's house and she had a container full of what we often call mouse traps these days. Mine had marmite on, cheese, but they were crunchy and crispy and in a lunchbox, they're genius. The question is, do your kids like Vegemite or Marmite? Make a comment, let me know. Anyway, watch away, it's super fast video and they are tasty, I bet you like them. Okay, let's get cracking. I'm using Vogel's Original. I tend not to use white bread because there's about one gram of fiber in each slice of white bread, so no good for our kids at all. Let's go for a better option. I roll them out using a rolling pin. It's worthwhile doing this because it makes it more like a cracker when you go to eat them. Use Vegemite, Marmite, whatever your favorite is. Let me know what the, your kid's favorite is and I'll see if I can come up with a recipe using the most popular. I actually even use my vegetable stock concentrate and my chicken stock concentrate on other occasions on these guys and it makes them delicious once they're cooked with the cheese on top. Cover them all like that and then basically I'm going to slice them into strips. You could slice them into squares, whatever takes your fancy. Probably a little bit too big to leave whole. Anyway, they're done and then they're onto a tray. See how I'm keeping them together? That's so that the cheese doesn't fall through gaps. And then I evenly spread the cheese on. I've got about 120 grams of cheese there for six slices. It's quite a lot. You could probably halve that if you like, but I like mine really quite cheesy. I preheated the oven to 170 degrees Celsius and they'll go in there. And I'm looking for the cheese to be melted and them to become crispy and golden brown underneath so that they stay crispy in the airtight container that we're going to store them in. So have a peek, get a fish slice or a spatula under there and have a little look. Before they cool, let's separate them because the cheese will kind of hold them together. So do this, that while they're still warm and then let them completely cool. Oh, listen to how crispy they are. Or you can pull them before they go into the air type, type container. You see how golden brown I've got them underneath there. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed that. It's short and sweet and probably you know how to do it, but it's a refresher, isn't it? See ya.